Hey everybody, welcome back. And yes, I am back with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, super excited for the stuff that I found. But we have some business to attend to first. One of my subscribers had commented um, about keeping them posted on these um, highlighters that I had gotten. And these were the Beauty Benefits, which of course the last time couldn't remember what they were called. Um, and I ended up getting two. Um, this one was Starlight and it's like the gold shades. And then this one was Gleam, which was um, almost like, I don't want to say, it looks white when you open it. Um, but it's these two and I tried uh, all four right in a row. And of course you probably can't see it now but my thoughts on these um is this if you like a blinding glow from your highlight like if you want to be seen from space these aren't for you um they are buildable but they do just sit on your skin so if you have textured skin you're gonna see everything because it just kind of sits on top of your skin it doesn't like melt in but you can build it up um but it's not blinding so these would be perfect for you if you like a very subtle highlight or if you've never used highlighter and like you're curious about it these would be perfect um if you like a blinding glow but you want to stay on the um inexpensive drugstore side um i would say go with the wet and wild highlighters that's my everyday highlighter um is precious petals and it's kind of i don't know it's more like a rose rose gold but it's kind of in between these and i use it every day this i mean it's there but not blinding so these i would definitely say if you like a very light subtle highlight or you just want to try out highlight to see how you like it these would be uh these would be perfect so yeah and of course you can't see it but i promise you it's there <laughs> um so there you go i hope that shed some light on that subject for you um also another review um that i had to share with you um was a couple hauls ago i got these spiced pumpkin um iced latte and i was so excited because pumpkin is my favorite these are literally freaking disgusting i drank I, it's still sitting in my fridge i have to pour it out because i don't think i'm gonna drink it um i took like a couple sips and i just cannot get past the taste uh i don't know what it is i don't know what it is um I just don't like it. It has a really weird flavor. It doesn't taste like pumpkin. It tastes like fake pumpkin. Um, so I'll probably bring these to work to see if anybody wants them. Um, before we get started, another correction is I think in my last video when I was talking about the um, unicorn poop, I, I think I'm pretty sure I said I was a vegetarian, which is a lie. Total lie. Um, no, not a total lie. Um, I am a semi-veg is usually what I call myself because uh, if it has a beak or it lives in the ocean, I do eat it. So, but I try to do vegetables as much as pos possible unless that's not an option. So I'm a semi-veg, but sometimes I just say vegetarian because it's easier than telling people I'll eat something that has a beak or, or lives in the ocean. Okay, we're good. Onto the Dollar Tree haul. How to clear all that up for you 25 minutes later. Anyway, we can, I could waste a half hour of your time. Anyway, I could waste a half hour of your time. I'm gonna try. No, I'm just kidding. I don't do it on purpose. Um, so I was really excited about this haul and I will tell you why. You wanna know? Of course you wanna know. Um, I was not expecting to find anything because I've been doing really good. Um, going like once a week, maybe twice a week and finding really good stuff and I thought this time like I found everything I had just gone on Wednesday um because I went before work so I had just gone I had gone 
last Friday, I don't know, this is not going to make sense. I went last Friday and then Wednesday before work. And I didn't think they would have anything new out because, I mean, to me, that's like going two times like really close together. And I was so shocked that they had so many new things. Um, and I went in for tissue paper. And I spent like 50 something dollars. So I don't, I don't know what's happening in this world. But so they had, I was going to take pictures, but then I just got so excited. Like when I go in there, I have all intentions of taking pictures because obviously I'm not going to buy everything. Uh, and then I find something, I get so excited and like it's a wrap. I take no pictures. Um, so I started to take pictures. They had that new, um, the new Play-Doh that looks like the crayon. I was going to get some. And then I forgot because I got super excited over ridiculous stuff. Um, I did, this is one of the other things I went in for, in all seriousness. Three things I went in for. I went in for tissue paper, I went in for ribbon, and I went in for the Clorox cleansing wipes, uh, which are at work already. Only the three, three things I went in for. $56 later, I'm rethinking my whole entire life choices. Uh, but I did grab three of these. You've all seen these before. It's three yards. Uh, it goes fast on Poshmark wrapping packages. All right. So then I don't think I took a picture of it. But LA Colors had a new display. And I feel like it's probably a Christmas display. So now mine was right in where the makeup is like the shelves that run underneath it was a cardboard um um like a cardboard tray type situation um it was probably about that big and it had little um little separations and each separation had something in it but it looked glittery and it just looked kind of Christmassy and I'm thinking like stocking stuffers but if you're selfish like me you're thinking for me for me for me um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not selfish. Um, so here is some, I didn't buy all of it. There was the, the things I did not buy was, um, two lip glosses, like the squeezy lip glosses. It was a two pack of lip gloss. And I think there was nail polish, if I'm not mistaken. Um, here's what I did buy though. So they had these LA Colors um dramatic lash dramatic lash the fake lashes so i did grab these this is in the style entice um so they had these this was the only style that i saw was entice they all uh they were all the same so i just grabbed i just grabbed two of them because i'm not sure that's not usually i like the fluffy looking lashes uh, but I grabbed one for someone at work and then one for me to try. Um, then they had these LA Colors Glow Now Skin, Skin Illuminator Liquid Highlighter. So this is what I mean. Like, do you see how this is like glittery? It just looks really Christmassy to me. So the whole cardboard um, display, the, it looked like this. This like glittery. Um, so this is, I don't think there's any color on here. Um, I just went, oh yeah, Glow Now Pink. So this is pink. I didn't know that. I don't know. I'm going to try it. So I grabbed this, and then I grabbed this darker one, which is the Glow Now Bronze. That's also going to, um, someone at work. She has darker skin. I think that would look amazing on, um, her complexion. So I grabbed her the darker ones. The other display section had these lip uh these lip balms which i think these are perfect for stocking stuffers uh this one is scented lip balm this one is mint and strawberry and then this one is watermelon and grape so i bought this one just for the watermelon and i bought this one just for the mint so i don't know but i think that's a a pretty cool a pretty cool little stocking stuffer would be those and that was it other than I'm so excited because they had new nails so these nails let me just tell you 
These are the LA Colors nails. They sell these at Walmart. They are 99 cents at Walmart, but they only ever have like one design. These, I got a whole bunch of different ones and yes, they were a dollar, but who cares? Um, so this one is called Glitter Fest and it looks like kind of like a unicorn kind of candy situation and this does not come with the glue um that's how they get to charge so much less is because there's no glue included um but you get 12 pieces so you're only getting one manicure out of each little package um so i got a couple of those i got this one which is marble manny which i thought was really really pretty it's like a seafoam green and marble i got this one which is classy chevron and it's like a bronzy i don't know it's kind of like a gold like a bronzy gold color they have this one which is color block which is black and white and i grabbed so many i don't even know what i was doing that might have been it but i went back and bought the rest of them because that's what i do so then they still had the kiss nail out so what i did was i just grabbed um some more of the black because like i've said before i love black nail polish and so i grabbed more black pretty sure i grabbed more than that but we shall see um so they had some new notebooks these are the ones that have the hard covers this is uh 60 sheets and it has the it has the lined paper but i really liked this one because it said your wounds and imperfections are your beauty um they had a couple different ones but i liked this one with like the marble so and it's got the hard cover which i like then oh my god i found some more planner accessories i am so freaking excited so this time last fall i found um a couple of packages not not too much um this one i found the filler i call them filler pages um it's just note pages so you get 30 sheets so i just grabbed uh i honestly grabbed everything that they had let's just be honest i did i was that person because i can make my own planner um, so I do have to still check if these are going to fit my little planner, my unicorn planner. Um, if not, I'm pretty sure these are going to fit in those little binders that um, Dollar Tree had. I got one or two of those because I thought that would be perfect. Um, and then these are the month. So that you get 30, 30 sheets and it's by My Plan My Way. So it's undated. You fill in the date yourself and this is the calendar um like the the month and the day so i grabbed those and then this is the this week so it's a weekly it's the weekly breakdown and this is also 30 sheets and they're undated so you fill the date in there they only had two of those so I only grabbed two of those, but they did have these great um, magnetic bookmarks. So you get three, um, and it, one says girl boss, that one is just black and white, and this other one has flowers on it, so that's a better way to look at it. That one has the pretty flowers on it. So I love these, I ended up getting one, two, three, four. Uh, I ended up getting five because I'm going to put them in my Christmas book packages that are going out shortly. So I grabbed five of those. Um, okay, I was a little nervous, but I grabbed some more. I told you the last time I got them, they were green already. Uh, and the date on this says November 30th. We still have a long way to go before November 30th, so I'm a little nervous about these, but I grabbed them anyway because I was upset I missed out on them last time, so I'm going to check them 
and then if they're green I'm taking them right back. Um, but I did get two packages of the Hawaiian dinner rolls. If you have not tried these, these are so good. My grocery store, like I have a corner, like a neighborhood grocery store that's the closest to me, will sell half of this. So you'll get like four rolls for like $5. It's crazy. So if you could find these for a dollar, very good, very good deal. Oh, and they also had the long package of rolls that you uh heat up but i skipped on those this time um i found some new stuff so i grabbed these they did have the one that had like captain america and thor um, i had grabbed those for my son he really liked them i thought i don't know i just thought this would be a little bit better and a little more interesting so this is naturally flavored apple spring water with vitamins um if he doesn't like it then of course i will drink it because i love apple juice even though this is water but it has a little toy attached it's drink and play and it comes with a little toy and i just thought that was interesting i mean of course he's probably way too old for this but i don't know i just thought <laughs> i just thought it'd be kind of cool um it's high in vitamins so 20 percent juice like it's super healthy so i figured if I have to bribe him with a little plastic toy to get him to drink healthy stuff, then I will. Um, so I grabbed that and I grabbed these two. They are both, uh, they are both Apple. All three of them are, are Apple. They just have different Transformers, um, characters and it's actually, uh, so it's just watered down apple juice. Um, I know a lot of parents, um, with like toddlers, um, water down apple juice before they give it to their kids. I never did that. I always gave my son uh, straight apple juice. I never cut it with water or anything like that, but I know a lot of people cut their apple juice with water. So if you are one of those people, this is spring water, like apple flavored spring water. So this saves you from cutting the apple juice and it has a toy attached to it. So I mean, it's a dollar for 10 fluid ounces, but if you cut your apple juice anyway, that would be, that would be a good deal. All right, some other new stuff that I found was this. So this is Aloe One, and it is um, aloe vera drink. So it's supposed to be super healthy. Um, there is literally like no nonsense in here whatsoever, but it is killing the vitamin game. Let me just tell you. So this is 100% vitamin B12, 100% vitamin B6, 100% vitamin B1, and 25% vitamin A. I mean, let's go. You don't even, you don't get any higher in vitamins than that in such a huge bottle. Um, it's gluten-free, Made in the USA, may aid with digestion, helps improve immune system, promotes natural skin hydration, promotes healthy metabolism, and it does your laundry. No, it doesn't do your laundry, but it would be nice if it did. So this is 37.2 fluid ounces for a dollar. It looks super weird. I'm sure it tastes super weird, but I'm in it for the vitamins. Do you see the floaties? Oh, it's so weird. Um, so I gave one to my mom. For her to try it I didn't ask her if she tried it yet because we just got these but this is the original flavor and they also had pineapple which is even weirder um, and the vitamin count is exactly the same um, except there is let's see 4% sugar 5% total carbs and 3% sodium so you know whatever but it's killing the vitamin game so yeah this is pineapple which is super weird look at there's these weird floaties but we're gonna give it a try I don't know if this is one of those things where they sell out and never get it back so we're gonna fall in love with it and then never see it again I've never seen these in the stores like a regular grocery store I'm not big on buying um like this type of water um but it is um alpha vitamins laboratories in miami florida that's who puts it out 
and this is good until 2020. So there you go. Oh, avalanche. All right. Also some other new, new things that I've never seen before were these, oops, oops, Mr. Brownie, which caught my eye because I never recognized the package. Like I've never seen this package before. So this is Mr. Brownie Rich Moist and Fudgy Blondie Bites. And it says it was real Belgian chocolate. And this is try me hot. So it gives you directions on how to heat it up. Um, and then right here it tells you there is, this says also try. I really was hoping they had the coconut brownie because that looks really good. Um, these are not healthy. So you can drink your vitamin water and then stuff your face with a whole bunch of sodium and cholesterol but you know it's a product of Spain so these are the blondie bites don't get excited they are the size of a quarter like <laughs> they're literally the size of a quarter let me come in so the people in the back can see it because it's so tiny um so this is it it's like really really small so I don't know I might try it hot this is the other one, um, also with real Belgian chocolate, rich, moist, and fudgy. It says no palm oil, non-GMO, which I guess is, you know, a plus. Um, same thing, a whole bunch of crap that's not good for you, um, like sugar and stuff. There is 15% iron, 3 milligrams of iron, so, you know, all is not lost, and that's upside down, so, yeah we're doing it. All right. So, all right. Before you come for me on buying Christmas stuff, because I did buy Christmas stuff, let me explain myself. Um, I do have a bunch of Christmas swaps, um, uh, for my book clubs and things that have to go out, obviously, before Christmas gets here. It has to be sent and received by a specific time. So I have to buy early so that I don't get left in the dust with not being able to find anything. Um, so we are doing a stuffed stocking swap. Um, I guess if you are in Wisconsin, you know exactly what I'm talking about because I have no clue. I guess a stuffed stocking is a Wisconsin thing. It's on, I believe, December 6th is you swap um, filled stockings. Um, so that is what we are doing. So I did get an actual stocking because I took it literal. Um, and I thought this was really cute. So I'm going to fill this stocking and send it off with um, books and other nonsense. Um, I did grab some fillers as I like to call it. So this one is the Christmas towel which I thought was very very cute and it has the recipe for gingerbread cookies so I figured everybody loves a good dish towel I don't think they do but I'm sending them and then this one has like hot chocolate and stuff which I thought was super cute I don't know I've gotten dish towels before in my book swap packages and I love them and I actually use them so I don't know I thought maybe I was missing something on sending out dish towels and with that I just thought these were really cute everybody can use a good um hot cold I guess this is a hot cold mug I don't even freaking know open close oh okay there we go it has a good top to it it screws on hand wash only not microwave or dishwasher safe I don't know but that was cute so it says deck the halls oh holy night it has a very like old school like vintagey feel um with the red top and then this for when you hold it probably should have got myself one of these because i definitely don't need one but and then i grabbed this one which is just santa um skiing and snowmen skiing i don't know how 16 16.5 fluid ounces so I grabbed those as little fillers too. Um, of course, you cannot come out of Dollar Tree without socks. I found them hiding, but we do have some Christmas socks already. Um, 
Oh, and I opened them and they're not for me. So good job. Um, so these just say from Santa and they are, um, I don't, what the hell they call these crew socks. Oh no, I just opened them. What am I doing? Uh, that was not the plan. Okay. Maybe I can fix it. All right. Anywho. So it says from Santa, we got some socks. These just have, um, Christmas trees and ornaments, but it's like the, uh, what is that? Like the silver, um, has silver in there. I don't even know what I was talking about. These look really small, but it says five, size five to nine by Christmas house. So I got those. This one says Baham Pug, which I thought was super cute. And it's got a pug on it. And then it just has like some snowflakes. Super cute. Uh, of course, I had to get myself um, a Christmas scarf. And this one is super cute. It has like little woodland animals. There's a fox and a squirrel. And um, has like a winter scene. There's a couple other ones, but a little cabin. I really liked this one. So I grabbed myself the scarf, uh, also Christmas house, not the uh, infinity scarf, but I'll probably end up wearing it in my hair, which I've been doing lately. Like I said, I had gone back and bought the rest of the nails because I am a savage and I am addicted and I have a problem. So those are the last three that they had. And so I grabbed them. And then almost done. Then I found some more random planner accessories. I don't know. They're just kind of showing up all over the place. So I don't know if they're, if I'm missing it or what's happening. But these are the um, tab dividers. So it, you get three dividers. It says turn dreams into plans. And then the back says be bold, be kind, be brave, be you. I don't know what the... Uh, so one inside says, but I grabbed two of those because obviously you don't write on these and they can be reused. And then I grabbed, they had some new candles that I'm super excited about. These are the Enchanted Night candles. So I did buy one a couple of hauls ago. Um, it was, I think, white. It was in a white container and it might have been like a winter smell. I don't even freaking know. Um, so this one is called Dark Velvet and it's a soy blend candle, which I absolutely love. And it's, it's three ounces and it has, I almost couldn't open it in the store. It has this, you know, pretty tight top there and that's what it looks like inside. And it smells really good. Like it almost smells like cologne. So if you have like a son whose room always smells like feet, not pointing any fingers at anybody, um, and they won't set the house on fire having a candle in the room because they're boys and they're careless. Um, this would be perfect. I cannot do that because my son throws socks. Like when he takes his socks off, they end up in like two different parts of the room. I don't know why he just can't take them off like a normal person that they have to go airborne at some point when they're coming off his feet. Um, this one is frozen water. Same thing, Enchanted Night. This one smells really good too. This one smells like cologne. I love like a cologne smell. I don't know. I think it would smell good in the house. But they're small. So we're going to see how the throw is on that. Um, that one is three ounces. And I wish I had found more of these candles. Because I just love everything about them. I would love to put them in my book packages. This is also three ounces. And it's called Peace. I don't know if these were maybe in the Christmas section and I missed them, uh, but this one random one was sitting on the same shelf, same shelf as the Enchanted Night ones. Uh, but this is a soy blend scented candle called the Peace, and I didn't even smell it. I was just so excited at the jar. Oh, that smells like um. Oh my God, what is that? Caramel, maybe? Car um, 
Jeez, I, it's, I'm trying to think of what it is. Maybe like a, it's sweet. Maybe like a caramel. I don't know, but I really like it. I don't care what it is. We're going to burn it. Um, I don't have high hopes for the throw. But if I can find more of these, these are definitely going into my book packages because these just look amazing and I want to see what other scents they have. So I will be keeping an eye out for, for these. Now my nose is all weird. So there we go. That is all I have. So yeah, super excited. I found tons of good stuff that I wasn't expecting to find, which is always a pleasure. Um, so yes, thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Don't forget to check down in the description box. I have uh, coupon codes and things for you if you want to do a little bit of shopping. Um, I also have my Poshmark closet down there if you want to do even more shopping. Go check that out and see what I have up. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much for hanging out with me and until next one.